Hey guys, welcome back to my channel C here and in this video today we're going to be taking a look at this vitamin D rapid test. It's by Medisure and it was sent out to me by expressrapidtest.ca. They actually sent me two kits to test out and I thought, hey, why not? This is definitely something related since I am pretty much indoors all day and I do live in Canada, which does get around eight months of winter and then you get like few months of summer maybe if you're lucky also i have had vitamin d deficiency in the past because of whatever reason maybe i wasn't getting enough sunlight i mean kind of makes sense since i am indoors all day and uh, i was getting those symptoms of you know fatigue tiredness and all that other good stuff or rather bad stuff and uh, i decided to take another vitamin d test but this time a rapid test since the last time i did a vitamin d test was in a lab at blood lab and i did get accurate results with that and i wanted to see if i can get accurate results with the rapid test so this rapid vitamin d test does not give you the actual number of i guess the vitamin d levels in your blood but it does rather tell you if you're deficient, sufficient, or insufficient. And insufficient meaning that you are on the low side and you require some vitamin D supplementation, rather than being deficient meaning that you're way below average and you do require lots of vitamin D supplementation. So anyway, let me get started and show you guys how I did this test. So first off, inside the box, you have the test cassette, the capillary dropper buffer, two lancets, and then you also have this alcohol swap. There's also the color card, which is very important since you will be referencing your test results with this card. And then you get the instruction manual as well. So first things first, you want to clean the surface, wash your hands with soap, and also you want to unpackage everything, including the lancets, the two lancets that you get. So if you just screw up the first time, you can always do it the second time. And what this lancet essentially does is it pricks you on the finger, or whichever finger you decide to choose. I would recommend using the index finger. It gives you a nice little prick. It feels like a pinch. It doesn't hurt that much. It doesn't really hurt at all. It's again, it feels like a pinch and then you start seeing some blood droplets come out. So once you have everything unpackaged, you wanna grab that alcohol swab and just clean your finger with it, the finger that you're going to be pricking. Make sure you clean it well. Then go ahead, take the lancet, make sure obviously the cap is off and then just push it down to your finger and that is going to give you a nice prick where you're gonna see some droplets of blood. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the capillary dropper. Now, what's important to know here is that once you get the capillary dropper in your hand, you just tap it on the blood. You just keep tapping it. Do not squeeze it and try to suck it up, suck the blood up. That is, just take it, don't squeeze it, tap it on the area that has the blood. Keep tapping it, you gotta be patient here until it fills up to the recommended level. Line. Now, once you're done doing that, you're going to grab that capillary dropper and then squeeze. I know this, I said don't squeeze it, but this time you're going to squeeze it onto the cassette, onto the test cassette. Make sure you're squeezing it into the S zone. So again, you're going to squeeze the blood into the S zone. Once you're done doing that, you're going to take the buffer solution. You're going to obviously have it open. You're going to squeeze two drops into the B zone. Again, that's two drops of the buffer solution into the B zone. And you're going to wait 10 minutes. So set a timer on your iPhone or Android device for 10 minutes or just, I guess, keep track of it. And then you're going to get your results. You're going to take your results. You're going to match it up with the reference color card along with the instruction manual that you can see. I know this part is a little bit confusing, but try to pay attention more so to the color card and match it up to the color and data that you have on the card. And that will tell you, that will let you know if you're deficient, insufficient, or sufficient with your vitamin D levels. So again, this test will only tell you if you're sufficient, deficient, or insufficient. It won't tell you if you're overloaded. That is, if your vitamin D levels are too high. But this is still helpful because you will know if you do require that vitamin D supplementation. And I know for me, I was definitely deficient because I have been deficient in the past and I have been taking vitamin D off and on. So I do live in Canada and I am indoors all day. So I pretty much know that I'm already vitamin D deficient since I don't get enough sunlight. So I do require supplementation of vitamin D. Now, most people who live in colder climates just don't get enough sunlight. That is especially if they are indoors all day and they don't go outside. Um, also, if they don't get enough sunlight, especially in the wintertime, then vitamin D supplementation is very important for them. One of the big symptoms of vitamin D deficiency is fatigue, depression, and all that other bad stuff. So you do want to check your vitamin D levels, especially 
if you are getting those bad symptoms, regardless if it's in a blood lab or if you were just curious and wanted to try this rapid test. If you guys want to purchase this, this is available at expressrapidtest.ca. I'll have a link in the description below. Make sure to check that out. And my test here does show that I am deficient. Now, as you guys can see in this video, I do have a colleague who also tested this out to see what her vitamin D levels were and they were sufficient. Anyway, that sums it up from this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned something today. If you did, please do leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well. Hope to see you guys soon. Take care, have a good one, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.